you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm actually on my way to pick up well here's the deal I've been trying to organize our tack room for a long time and when I say trying I don't mean physically trying it's just been in my mind to do it <laughs> so we have little shelves in our tack room where we keep all of our medicine and all of our shampoos and all this stuff so it's just like scattered all over the shelves and it looks so messy and so sloppy it's kind of hard to find stuff without knocking things over and it's just a mess right so I had this idea of getting this cabinet just like an old school Western looking cabinet and maybe changing the knobs and making it really cool because I want to design our tack room very westerny right now we don't really have anything in there but it's kind of messy so for the last couple of months I've been hanging out on Facebook what is it Facebook market I love marketplace marketplace it's just so fun they have so many random stuff literally it's like a thrift store online so yeah I've just been keeping my eyes open for like a cabinet they have so many names for it like seeing what people name it in Facebook marketplace they call it a hutch armoire armoire a uh, dresser like I don't know this thing can be categorized as so many things I didn't want to spend that much so some of them were out of my price range some of them sold like that I really wanted a specific kind I wanted it to have drawers in the bottom and then shelving on top but shelving covered by cabinets so you can just close the cabinets and even though there's a mess behind the, the cabinet doors it's still like hidden so it's not too messy and it doesn't look too messy so I finally found one on Facebook it was a good price plus she negotiated a little bit so we are on our way to pick it up and I thought it would be fun to bring you guys with me this video is gonna be through a course of a couple days because I'm not gonna be able to move all the medicine stuff into the cabinet like right away so today I'm just gonna go pick it up I finally get to organize the tack room please don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment down below if you guys enjoy this stuff let me know if you guys want to come along while I decorate the tack room DIY a couple things and yeah all right you guys so we got it loaded up it's over here um, we're just tying we're just tying it down now. So yeah, we just loaded up the cabinet It's back there We were just trying to tie it down so that it doesn't fall or flip over it is so cute It's so much nicer in person and tomorrow I think we'll unload it and put it into the tack room several months later Hey you guys, what's up? First of all, please ignore my crazy message garage I know you can see this mess over here this mess over here, but <laughs> it's been like a couple months since that last clip I think it's been like two to three months. I don't know, but <laughs> it's got super busy I was filming other videos. We never ended up moving the dresser into the tack room, so it's still here. Now that it's daytime, I'm gonna show you guys what it actually looks like. All right, so here is the dresser. I absolutely love this thing right here. It's like a pull-down cabinet. It's so old school, I love it. It actually has like an outlet over there, which is really cool. Let me show you the inside. It's so cute, isn't it? This is the only thing that looks kind of weird. I don't really like those bars there. You guys should give me little tips on what you think I should do with it. Do you think I should just leave it like this or sand it and stain it a different color or try to get these off? You think they come off? Well, actually it looks like it's just stuck on there. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, today I'm actually gonna finally start on my tack room organizing. I'm gonna collect all of our junk that we have all over the place. We literally have it all over the place. I have some stuff in the garage, in the feed room, in the tack room. So I have to go around and collect all that, move this into the tack room, and then I'm gonna wipe everything down before I put it in. I thought it would be a cool video to show you guys what I keep in our medicine cabinet. Well, it's gonna be our medicine cabinet. <laughs> to be honest, it'd be nice to know what we actually have <laughs> because we have so much stuff and it's all over the place that I don't really know what it is we have. So It'd be nice to remind myself and show you guys what we keep so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and grab Rob so he can help me put the cabinet into the shed over here and then start collecting things and we'll get started all right you guys so I don't want to show too much of the tack room because I want it to be like a surprise when it's done and actually give you an official tack room tour so I'm gonna try and keep some areas of it a secret <laughs> Disclaimer, everything is disgusting, dirty, super gross. Everything is really dirty and dusty. This tack room is like a fixer-upper, so there's wood everywhere, a bunch of random things everywhere. This is where we've been keeping all our meds and all that stuff. To be honest, we haven't had to use many of this too much, thank God. So everything's all dusty and dirty because obviously it just sits here. Just a little overview. And it looks really sloppy and messy out in the open like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the new cabinet. Another reason why it's so dirty and dusty in here is because the roof is open on the sides. I don't know if you can see that over there. It's open. So we do get a lot of bugs and critters and stuff coming in here. We get a lot of birds coming in here and laying nests. 
The floor is just cement, like it's not a real indoor tack room. So far we've kind of tried to insulate the walls and we put these panels up and I painted them, but originally they were just wood siding. Not wood siding, what is it? Exposed beams. The door is like weird, the windows are, don't close correctly, like <laughs> it's a little fixer upper, but I kind of like the indoor outdoor feel. We just have to figure out a way of making it not so accessible to bugs and birds and stuff. Let me show you one of the nests that they laid. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's actually a little bird's nest. There there was actually babies inside there last time I checked and I really want to get these little this out of there But I'm scared. I don't want to mess up their home So I'll just leave that until I'm sure there's no one in there So this is where I ended up putting the cabinets probably move it I don't know when things start coming together and the decorations start to happen. I'll probably um, move it But who knows? I don't know you guys. I don't know what I should do I mean, I kind of like it the way it is, but I'm not sure I'm gonna try and insert a picture of what my little inspiration is for this tack room Let me know if you guys Guys like it or if you think I should sand it or if you think I should paint it I should stain it a different like a cooler gray toned wood color like should I take this off here's what I'm thinking right I don't know if I should take these things off these bars if I should take these things off because it kind of looks medieval right like you know like medieval times it kind of looks like that like that style <laughs> But I'm not sure. I kind of like it. Like, I like these little dangly things. But I'm not sure if it's the kind of style I'm going for. I mean, it's not very Western. It's more medieval. So let me know if you think I should change it. Leave it in the comments. Okay, I think I've talked too much. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, so this is my little bucket where I collected all of the stuff that has been laying all over the house and farm. These things were in the horse trailer, some of these things were in here in the garage, some of this stuff was in the feed room. So I went around and collected everything that was everywhere and put it in this bucket and I'm going to go ahead and take this to the tack room. Alright you guys, so this is my bucket of meds, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and go through this and put it all in there and talk to you guys about it, tell you what each thing is and what we use it for and yeah.